Paul Hebert, probably best known for his appearances in the American television series Wicked Tuna, has become synonymous with the thrilling world of commercial fishing. With his larger-than-life personality and remarkable fishing skills, Hebert has captured the hearts of viewers as he braves the treacherous waters in pursuit of the prized bluefin tuna. In recent years, his journey on Wicked Tuna took an unexpected turn when he was charged with Medicare fraud. So what exactly happened? Born with an innate connection to the ocean, Paul Hebert's passion for fishing and marine exploration was ignited at an early age, as his family were fishermen. Growing up near the coast, Hebert spent countless hours by the water, homing his skills and developing a deep appreciation for the wonders of the sea. These formative experiences laid the foundation for his extraordinary journey in the world of commercial fishing. His skills as a fisherman were evident from early on, as he caught a huge bluefin tuna at the age of eight. Hebert's career began where he was born in 1965 at Marshfield, Massachusetts, a renowned hub for commercial fishing. Embracing the local fishing traditions, Hebert quickly made a name for himself as a skilled fisherman, earning the respect of his peers and establishing a reputation for his determination and prowess on the water. However, Hebert's journey into the spotlight truly took off when he became a cast member of Wicked Tuna. The reality TV series provided a platform for Hebert to showcase his skills and captivating personality to a global audience. Hebert's infectious enthusiasm and natural charisma endeared him to viewers, who eagerly tuned in to witness his adventures and cheer for his success. He became known for his unwavering dedication and resolve, demonstrating through the relentless pursuit of his targets and the challenges he faced on the often unpredictable and dangerous waters. Hebert has captained several notable boats throughout his tenure in the series. He began his journey as the captain of the FETuna.com, a vessel that quickly became synonymous with his name. As the show progressed, Hebert transitioned to captaining the FV Bounty Hunter in Season 2, and later Miss Sampha in Season 3. These transitions in the early seasons and the skills he demonstrated as captain helped solidify him as a prominent member of the show. Continuing his captaincy, Hebert eventually took the helm of the Kellyanne, another prominent boat featured in Wicked Tuna. With his characteristic fishing style and vibrant personality, Hebert led the Kellyanne crew through challenging waters, demonstrating his skills and experience in pursuit of the elusive bluefin tuna. However, it was the Wicked Pisa that became the latest chapter in Hebert's captaincy, which he took command of in Season 5, and to this day remains at the helm of this beloved vessel. The Wicked Pisa quickly gained popularity among fans of the show, symbolizing Hebert's unwavering dedication and relentless pursuit of success on the water. Beyond his appearances in the show, Hebert's expertise and experience have also been recognized in the wider fishing community. He shared his knowledge through seminars, workshops, and collaborations, contributing to the collective understanding and advancement of commercial fishing practices. Throughout his career, Hebert's genuine love for the ocean and respect for its resources have remained at the forefront of his endeavors. His passion for sustainable fishing practices and conservation efforts has inspired others and shed light on the importance of responsible stewardship of marine ecosystems. As Paul Hebert continues to navigate the waters of the commercial fishing industry, his early life experiences and unwavering dedication continue to shape his journey. With each new season of Wicked Tuna and every opportunity to share his knowledge and passion, Hebert remains a steadfast advocate for the ocean and a true embodiment of the spirit of the sea. Wicked Tuna is a riveting reality television series that immerses viewers in the thrilling world of commercial tuna fishing. Set primarily in the waters off the coast of Gloucester, Massachusetts, the show follows a group of seasoned fishermen as they embark on high-stakes expeditions in pursuit of the prized bluefin tuna. The series provides a unique glimpse into the intense and competitive nature of the commercial fishing industry. It reveals the challenges and triumphs faced by the fishermen as they navigate treacherous waters, battle unpredictable weather conditions, and deploy their fishing skills to land the elusive and highly valuable bluefin tuna. Every episode of Wicked Tuna introduces viewers to a diverse cast of characters, each with their own unique fishing style, expertise, and personal motivations. From the experienced veterans to the young, up-and-coming fishermen, the series offers a range of perspectives and stories, 
highlighting the dedication, camaraderie, and occasional rivalries that exist within this tight-knit community. One of the standout features of Wicked Tuna is the use of the green stick fishing technique. This innovative method involves deploying a long pole with a series of lures to attract and catch tuna near the water's surface. The green stick technique allows for a more selective and sustainable approach to fishing, as undersized or unwanted catches can be released unharmed. The competitive element is a central aspect of the show, with the fishermen contending for the highest catch totals and ultimately the largest profits. The pressure to succeed creates an atmosphere of excitement and tension, as the participants strategize, utilize their knowledge of the ocean currents, and rely on their experience to outwit the majestic bluefin tuna, as well as each other. Beyond the adrenaline-pumping fishing scenes, Wicked Tuna also offers glimpses into the personal lives of the fishermen, their families, and the unique culture that surrounds the fishing community. Viewers gain insights into the sacrifices made by the fishermen, the inherent risks they face, and the deep-rooted traditions that have shaped their way of life for generations. Wicked Tuna has garnered a dedicated following since its premiere in 2012, captivating audience with its raw authenticity, compelling narratives, and breathtaking cinematography. The show not only catches the thrill of the chase, but also sheds light on the environmental challenges faced by the fishing industry and the importance of sustainable fishing practices. Through its gripping storytelling and the genuine passion of its cast, Wicked Tuna continues to transport viewers into a world where skill, determination, and the relentless pursuit of the ocean's bounty collide, leaving audiences both entertained and enlightened about the absorbing and demanding world of commercial tuna fishing. Paul's career on Wicked Tuna was shaken in 2015, when he was indicted on charges relating to Medicare fraud. It was alleged that he'd been receiving disability benefits from 2010 to 2013, while not actually being disabled. The total sum of his alleged ill-gained benefits amounted to over $44,000. In the end, Paul pleaded guilty to the charges in hopes of receiving a reduced sentence, and as a result, he was fined $5,000 for his crimes and made to pay restitutions amounting to over $53,000. Additionally, he was put on four years probation. Today, Paul remains one of the most prominent captains in Wicked Tuna, and it's likely that his career on the show and as a fisherman will last for many more years. While public information about Paul Hebert's net worth is limited, some estimates suggest that it's around $400,000 as of 2023, taking into account various factors such as his earnings from his appearances on the television show Wicked Tuna and from fishing, plus potential income from other related ventures. Paul Hebert's presence on the television show Wicked Tuna has left an indelible mark on both the series and its dedicated fan base. Paul's past involvement in the Medicare fraud case serves as a reminder that even those in the public eye are not immune to legal challenges, in fact perhaps more so. Despite the legal setbacks, Hebert has remained a resilient and integral part of the television show Wicked Tuna. Hebert's continued involvement in the show demonstrates his unwavering passion for the art of commercial tuna fishing and his dedication to the thrilling world as captured in Wicked Tuna. As he steers the wicked Pisa through the unpredictable waters, Hebert continues to captivate audiences with his expertise, charisma, and unwavering commitment to the pursuit of the prized bluefin tuna. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.